Hello everybody and welcome back to the Game Life channel and today I'm joined with John doing a FIFA 09 throwback. There's going to be some gameplay in the background, Liverpool v Aston Villa and we're just going to be talking about FIFA 09 um, and facts and stuff and what we liked about the game. Okay, let's start with some facts. FIFA 09 was the first main series FIFA game to have user-controlled celebrations. These were first trialled in Euro 2008. FIFA 09 was also the first game to introduce Ultimate Team as an expansion content, and uh, it has grown to be one of the biggest features on the game by far. FIFA 09 was also the last FIFA game to not feature any Football League numbers on the back of shirts. FIFA 09 also featured 41 national teams, but not Japan, due to an agreement with Konami. There were 40, 48 stadiums in the game, 17 were fictional. One notable stadium in there was the Millennium Stadium, which isn't present in the new games. It was the first FIFA to introduce a 10v10 online pro mode, similar to pro clubs today. On FIFA 09, you were now able to transfer clubs on the pro career that was introduced on FIFA 08. You could also play up to four seasons as a pro. FIFA 09 introduced a more diverse range of weathers and time settings for matches like a snowy evening game. FIFA 09 was the last game to feature Ronaldinho's face on the cover. FIFA 09 had over 500 teams in over 30 leagues, featuring the Siskat League and the Turkish Super League. FIFA 09 contained a feature that was called Adidas Live Season. This is very similar to Match Day Live for FIFA 15. You could buy one league for a season for £5 or all six major leagues for twelve ninety nine. This had weekly updates, upgrades and downgrades for players. Now we're going to be talking about things that we liked about the game. Both of our teams were the best at the time. Liverpool finished second and Villa finished sixth. According to FIFA, Liverpool were the 10th highest rated team in the game and Villa were 22nd. The manager mode was very fun. You could choose sponsors and gain money from them in career mode. The manager mode was more interactive. You could gain popularity with fans and build team chemistry. That's missing in the recent games. You could hire staff which would help your players grow or gain you extra money through the stadium. You can set ticket prices to low, medium, high. Low being bottom of the league teams, high being top of the league teams. FIFA 09 featured interesting trivia questions in the loading screens. It had a primitive scouting system. It was quite overpowered, but it was still good. The interface of the manager mode was far superior to the next iterations. We really like the introduction of controllable celebrations to this FIFA. Okay, now on to the final part of the episode. What we'd like to see in FIFA 16 from FIFA 09 features. Firstly, we'd like to bring back staff. These were a great help. We would also like to see reserve leagues in Be A Pro Career. So you don't have to go on loan to clubs, you can stay at your mother club and develop there. We'd like to see a groundsman added to the staff menu should they bring it back. This could have an effect on the playing surface and the quality. Like For example, a top Premier League team will have a perfect pitch like, like carpet, then a League 2 team, halfway through the season, it could be proper chopped up and then like goal miles will be all muddy and stuff. I believe that this could be possible now due to the advancements in the pitch marks, as you've seen in games. We'd also like to see more in-depth stats like shots per goal, shots per game, tackles per game and percentages of those stats. We'd like a return of sponsorships and adjustable ticket prices to the career mode. We would like to see choices like how you can gain fan support and the team. Should you sim a game, we'd like to see the return of match stats. We would also like to see trivia questions being added to the menu screens. We'd also like customizable arena backdrops because the one the EA Sports Studio is pretty boring. So that's our suggestions for FIFA 16. If you have any more, please be sure to drop them in the comments. Tell us what you'd like to see. And also tell us what you liked about FIFA 09 that you'd like to see in FIFA 16 as we did. So until next time, me and John will see you later. Bye bye. Adios.